If you want to learn how to paint, you need to be on my channel on YouTube. And I, I'm doing all fundamentals all of January. So please join me. In the classes I teach in person, um, one of the main things that I see that beginners struggle with a lot is how to mix paint. So we're going to take care of that today. So I have a, um, I had a very limited palette. I have white, I have ultramarine blue, cad orange, medium, and um, I think this is Hansi yellow. I'm going to tap my brush in the water, and this is a, uh, a flat, um, it's a natural bristle brush, but you can use a synthetic just as easily. And I, then I wipe it off on the paper towel. I just need some moisture. I don't need a ton, but it picks up the paint better if the brush has some moisture in it. Now, what I see a lot, and I'm going to turn this way so you can see, is let's say I'm in a class and I want to paint something um, green, okay? Here's the ultramarine blue. I'm going to pull it over here and I'm going to add, pick up some yellow, okay? Now I'm working right here. I'm not mixing in these. This is where I pick it up from and I pull it over here. Now I'm just going to work on the outside edge. See, I didn't even try to mix that whole thing. I can. I can go back. If I, if I don't get it dark enough, I can keep pulling in that blue to get it where I want. But if I start out just plopping it there in the middle, then I really don't have any place to go. So if I, I can start on the edge. And, okay, so now I've got some green on my brush. Now you can see that there is still blue there. Okay, that's a good thing. <laughs> the, the one thing I see beginners, the mistake they make the most is they'll just keep mixing and mixing and mixing. Okay, so now on this, you can't see any of the yellow um, or the blue, all you see is one solid color of green. And so what you should have done then is just opened up a tube of green and put it on there because that's what you have. When you paint in acrylics and with oil, you want some of these other colors to show through. So I'm gonna take some more of this blue over here. I'm gonna add some more yellow to it. And again, I'm out here on the edge. Now then I can also take some white out here further on the edge. Now I've got several values of paint that I can work with. Okay, so I'm going to come back here to the green that we mixed up too heavily. I'm going to add some more of that blue in there. I want to see other colors in there, not just one solid color. It gives your painting more depth, more life, uh, and it helps you create form better. Okay, so let's say I want to put a leaf here. So here comes a stem. Well, that's a terrible stem, Sharon, but it's okay. <laughs> We're just learning, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some more out here. I'm going to come over this way. And again, I'm just low, re picking up a little more paint. Coming out. There we go. Okay. Now, I want some of this darker color. Okay, so I'm gonna come out here with my leaf and I'm gonna press and push and turn. So there's not enough paint on my brush because you can see I ran out. So I am just mixing some more. I don't mix up a huge pile of paint because I seldom need that much and it's just not in my nature to do that. I know there are a lot of people that mix up a whole bunch if they're gonna, like if I was gonna do a background, yes, I probably would mix up more, but it wouldn't be a lot more. Um, so here's my leaf again. I'm gonna push. There we go. So now you can see there is this dark, there's some lighter green. Um, this edge out here is okay. There we go. I don't ever worry about that. I just don't. So I'm going to put some more, pick up some more and put one up here. I'm going to put one over here. Pushing, 
turning, flipping, and here comes another one. Pushing, turning, turning it that way. Okay, so now I've got four leaves on there. Four is not a good number. Um, your eye actually likes odd numbers, so we're going to throw another one in there. flip it over. Don't forget you got paint on both sides. Okay, so now we've got some leaves. Now this one here has got a nice dark edge right there. This has got a real good place piece of blue. Now I'm going to pick up just yellow. I'm just going to work in a small area down here. And remember I put that white in there. I might pull some of that in there. And then I can bring, I can pull in some of this gr darker color. If this is too light, I can pull it in. But once I get it there, if I, it's hard to get it out. So here I want to come along this edge and push. And now pick that brush up. And now that leaf looks like it's turning. see that and so I'm going to come back over here push do the same thing that whole end looks like it's flipped up I'm going to add a little more white I'm going to add it out here on the edge I'm not mixing up a huge pile of paint get thin now push there <coughs> So this piece now looks like it's, okay, so this piece here is now flipped up on that piece. I can also come back with a little bit of white on that brush and put a stem right in there. And I'm going to fix this stem, goes right in there. <coughs> Okay, so we've got a big place right there where you can see it. Okay, so I'm picking up this lighter color. I'm gonna make it even lighter. Go right in here and push and get back up on that edge. So now th this leaf looks like it's turned over on itself. Now this one here, I'm just gonna pull it up this way because it's already it, it worked that way when I first put it on there. I want to make that a little lighter. Because you're looking at one side of the leaf, and these are the undersides of the leaf. So I'm going to come in here like this and just flip that across there. There. Because that is the top part now coming down. So you can put your stem in there like that. I don't like it's too light, so I'm going to pick up some of this darker paint. There we go. And then I'm going to bring this down in there. And here's another one. Needs this. So what you need to remember about mixing paint is you don't keep mixing. Now if you'll look at my palette and that green area, you're going to see all sorts of shades of green. Not one solid color. So that's one thing that has to happen. And you have to have that contrast, um, the values. And I have a number of videos about values uh, on there on my channel. Let me take this out. There. Now, I'm going to bring that up real close. So you can see the all the leaves and the right in here where it flipped over on itself. This one right here where it's flipped over on itself. The top of this one is coming down. You're looking at the inside of the leaf and the top outside of the leaf. And here you've got one that's folded up on top of it, the other one. And you have to have those values if you don't, um, like on my palette, you can see the difference in shading there. 
So those are all different values. And if you have, um, let me pull up my value chart. This is a value scale. So if you are painting something this color, this value, not this color, but this value, the, ne the next color that you need is in this range. This one would be too close to this one. It wouldn't show much difference. Now, if what you were trying to do is very, very subtle, now then you could probably try that and then go with this after that. You can put uh, many, many values in any particular um, item. I'm just showing you basically how to mix the paint to get there, okay? So hopefully you learned uh, something today. These are, uh, this whole month of January, I'm doing nothing but fundamental um, videos for the beginning artist at the beginning of the year. People say, oh, I wanna learn how to do this. I, and so um, that's why in January this year, I'm, I'm just doing nothing but the very basic fundamentals. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel, share it with everybody. <laughs> I'm trying to grow, grow, grow so people can, uh, more people can find me and more people can see uh, that you can learn to paint. And I always say this, this is a skill. This is not necessarily talent. This is skill and you can learn a skill, you can practice a skill and you can improve a skill. So thank you so much for being here today. Visit my website, www.paintingwithacrylics101.com and let's paint together real soon.